respawn is full effect, guys. What is up, guys? Fishing Colorado coming back at you guys with another great video here. And basically, in today's video, guys, we're just going to be targeting some pre spawn bass, guys. Uh, now, basically, I've been working on this video now over the course of a few different days, guys. I've been fishing with a few of my different buddies, guys, and basically just looking to find those fish, guys. My biggest tips to you guys are basically just to stay consistent, uh, stay persistent, and just try to establish some confidence here in that pre-spawn, guys, as bass fishing really isn't an easy thing to do, guys. And like I said, guys, I filmed this video over the course of at least three different days, guys. So if that tells you anything, uh, just basically stay consistent, try several different baits, and eventually you guys will end up pulling a few of them out, guys. But I hope you guys all enjoy. Stay tuned. Oh, I got one. Damn it. What's my video? I turned the camera off, I guess. Oh, no. Thank you. Yeah. Nice job. Guys, I guess I turned the damn camera off. That's the story of my channel, I guess, but I haven't been to this place all year, guys. And that's the first, uh, that's my first bass of 2021 right there, guys. And it's a good one. Looks like it's almost a three right there. And we got him right there on a Vexen. It's like a rattling wasp, I believe. Uh, but I'll let you guys know later, guys. Let's keep it going though. We've only been here for literally less than 10 minutes, guys. And that's a solid fish right there, guys. Let's get that bad boy back. And this is definitely a pre-spawner, guys. This water is cold. Well, it's now, I, now I lost it, dude. Oh yeah, I guess that's for like a hard, a hard boat. But now you got the John boat, yeah, and then and then that's what's cool about that little thing, like, cause I don't know, like, whatever, whatever sonar you, you get, but like the one that the little deeper says, like, oh, did you see that? Did you see that? I hope the camera got that. Oh my god! What the heck, dude? Did you see that? Guys, oh, I, I hope the camera saw that. All right, we're gonna get this out. This looks like it's almost the same quality fish as the last one, guys. And look at how we ate it, crushed it. All right, guys, this is another really quality, healthy bass right here. And it's the second one today, guys. I really hope you guys saw that on camera, but um, we're, gonna, we're gonna get him out of here. He was bleeding a little, but man, thank you for the fight.
All right, guys, we got our first one right there. And it's the same thing that we got our first two on the other day, guys. We got them right there on a little uh, Vexen Rattle and Wasp. We'll take it, guys. Definitely not the biggest, but man, I'll take them all. Big, small, I'll take them all. Pre-spawn, full effect, guys. All right, guys, and basically this is how I set out when I'm out here bass fishing, guys. I usually have at least four to five fishing rods with me um, in this rod carrier. And the way that I like to roll is basically each of them is just tied up with a different bait to save me time. As you can see, I've got a spinner on one, got a drop shot on another, uh, I've got the swim jig on top, and then on this guy, I've got a shallow crank. And basically that just saves me time and it allows me to switch through several baits as I'm uh, working my way uh, through that body of water. It's a little too. You get it? Right here. Uh, nice. Chunk. I think that's my first fish of the year. All right. It just came up to Connor, guys. First fish of the year for him right there. And it's a little chunk. We got him right there on the chatterbait, guys. Solid, probably approaching two. Yeah. Nice fish. A bluegill square bill? Yeah, but I lost the one that I caught them all on yesterday. It was like a freaking blue and orange like crankbait. Like it wasn't a square bill. But this one, I figured it would work because yeah. there's only bluegill in here. Oh, he's barely hooked. Boat flip. Oh! Good, <laughs> Good, bro. Let's go. Hell yeah! Yeah. That's edible, bro. Oh, what? No way. Dude, everything in here is fresh. All right, guys. I threw this bad boy on the scale. I really wasn't sure. I thought it was kind of like a pounder, but it's actually two pounds on the dot, so... We'll take it. He's got some winter weight on him. All right, guys, this is what I was throwing. That little lunker hunt, uh, bluegill patterned uh, square bill. It only dives two and a half feet, guys, but I mean, I guess that's all we needed right there. Here, bring him right here. Frank just got one, guys. Put something bring him up. Yes! Oh, go. my gosh! There you go. First cast. Let's go. Dude, this is my PB. I told you to try it, dude. Oh my gosh. It's freaking like literally two, it's two ounces under a pound. Damn, not even a pound. Not even a pound. Can I see him? <laughs> yes. All right, guys, that's going to wrap us up out here. We were out here fishing with my boys today, guys. And that's probably the last tip I'll leave you with, guys. When you're bass fishing, guys, it really helps to fish with multiple people, guys. As it really helps you to cover ground cover several different presentations and it might just help you put some fish on much sooner than you would have by yourself guys but we had a great little time out here of course it's been a grinder like i said guys but that pre-spawn is in full effect guys i hope you guys all enjoyed please, please like and subscribe and stay tuned